Hey guys and welcome! This time we're checking out life hacks because we could all use some tips, or at least I can. The first one is uh, use fisherman knots to adjust pants. Wait a minute. I need this because I wear these kind of pants all the time. What is your secret? Yes, I'll be trying this out <sighs> After This is assuming I haven't already lost the string inside the waistband uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I, I already have a technique, but this seems superior. I'll look into it. <laughs> I don't know I guess we're gonna learn here. This is uh, this is gonna be a learn based uh, session <clears throat> A spiral napkin life hack my manager just showed me. What? At least just take off the top. <laughs> Come on! The top one is dirty now! You gotta get rid of it! Who even cares? Who even cares about this? Because it's just some napkins you bought from Tesco. I would just rather see them in the fucking packaging, honestly. Not just <laughs> think out the whole thing. Why not? Not like this. And what what's the use of this in my my personal life? Nothing. I guess if I, I ran a restaurant where I wanted to line up my uh uh napkins that I bought in bulk uh, just to seem more fancy, then I guess I would it's useful for me, but but that's unlikely. If I use this in real life, you know, I did this. And, you know, I had some friends over or whatever, some some guests over, and they saw me. They saw this on the table. They would they would have concerns. They would think, holy shit, this guy has spent so much fucking time uh lining up these napkins that he must be near suicidal. Because this is just the crazy uh, person's doing, obviously, and that—that's the catcher. I even if, even if I told them how I did it, I would be engaging in small talk, which is just uh, unacceptable. So <laughs> there's just a no-win si situation right there. People that get offended by this have no idea how dirty hotels actually are. I guess <laughs> so, he has a good point, but still, it just. I feel like this this doesn't really like it's not gonna impress me like oh your napkins are a slightly uh, rotated wow whatever but I guess it's cool to, to see <clears throat> Paw Patrol to the rescue mom pro tip at least it works for me if your toddler is obsessed with a specific character or TV show and if he like if he she becomes an inconsistent or picky eater. Uh, liking things some days, rejecting uh, them other days, then try buying some cheap stickers of the things they like and sticking them on food. Uh, last night, me, what would you like to eat for dinner? Corn or peas? Uh, no corn, no peas, uh, candy please. Uh, we have Paw Patrol corn and peas. Which would you like? Oh, I love Paw Patrol corn! Later, Paw Patrol corn is tasty! More Paw Patrol corn, please! You fucking idiot! No wonder he's an incognito! You fucking idiot! I can't believe he fall fallen for that! God damn it! My kid is not gonna be that stupid! And also, if he's not eating what I'm giving him... Fuck it! You're eating nothing, man! That's how it goes! <laughs> also, if I was the kid, and I was the picky kid, because because look at it from the other side too. If I was the picky kid, and I could affect what I get, wait, that's not. It doesn't really affect how I get. What kind of pictures I get? <laughs> well, if the kid started looking at porn, this would be uh, very awkward very quickly. <laughs> so, that's that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> what else we got here? So I hope this is not gonna stay on for long, because this might not be advisable with a teenage son. Just saying. I uh, can confirm this works. If your kid is into Frozen, anything 
freeze grapes, uh, blueberries, peas. Then when you put uh, them into their lunches, they'll be pretty defrosted by the time they eat them. They are Elsa's grapes, blueberries, peas, because Elsa froze them. Kid went from turning up uh, her nose uh, to them to requesting them. Sister thought I was a motherfucking genius. No, if I have a kid, he's not gonna be a fucking idiot. I'm gonna tell him what's up. And also, he's not, he's not gonna eat what, what I give him. That's it. Uh, did anyone else uh, know this was a thing? So cool. Uh, got empty boxes laying around. Retailers such as Amazon are teaming up with local charities to use empty shipping boxes to get rid of the clutter filling homes after removing your order from uh, your shipping box. Fill it with uh, clothes, etc. You want to donate and visit. Uh, yeah. I, well, I guess this is not particularly fun. Uh, you can just uh, give Amazon clothes. Uh, so they will probably not get it to the right people who actually need them. <laughs> Let's be honest here. If you want to be sure, you can just, uh, I, I know this is super convenient, that's by, that's partially why it's upvoted. But if you want to be more, uh, if you want to take a little bit of time, you can just uh, throw in a bunch of crap into your car if you have that. Or just, 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 you know, just give it to people who actually need it, I guess. I think that's a little bit more sensible, because I would be concerned in this case, like, you know, are they actually uh, giving it to the right people? Uh, can't find the top. This is genius. So, if you have a jar and you don't have a top for it, but you happen to have a blue balloon, the color doesn't uh, really matter in this case, and you wanna just, you know, you can just uh, blow it up with air, and you can use it to seal off the can. Perfect. I can't think of any other reason. I, I can't think of any other way this can be done. No, no other way. You cannot, you cannot even begin to solve this problem without a balloon that you just uh, fill up with air. And also, in order to, well, if you like ever take it off, then you have to uh, fill up with air again. Uh, this is uh, obviously 10 out of 10. A uh, life tip right there. Uh, I would just say, why even have uh, tops for your cans? Just just have a fucking a bunch of balloons. There you have it. Uh, I'm pretty cool, but I'm thinking not your stuff tastes uh, like a uh, balloon rubber. That's also a pro. That's also a pro. Like, obviously the best solution comes with uh, an additional advantage. In 2020, uh, this is a uh, child proofing in my house. Did someone say chocolate? Uh, it's in. So, hide the chocolate in the sour cream uh, box, I guess. Great. I have a better solution. Don't buy chocolate. <laughs> it works. And tell the kids that you have chocolate. Oh, actually, that's don't do that. Don't do that because they're just gonna look for look through all the shit. I don't know. Maybe bribe them with a little bit of chocolate. I guess I don't know. They go. They don't get chocolate. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you go to a Hispanic or Latino's house and open those, you'll find chili sauce and uh, probably more. What? <laughs> Alright. Not 100% uh, got that. Uh, when, you're Fred, uh, when your kid is uh, throwing a tantrum and refusing to move, uh, just pick him up. Wow. That guy's a hero. He is obviously used to this shit. <laughs> I mean, I, I would probably just like him, you know, I'm doing my shit, but obviously I don't want to leave my kid out there, so I'm just gonna bring him in. <laughs> Is there a way to discourage this behavior? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I, I, would need to, I would need to look into it. I know that look. <laughs> shit, I know that look too. <laughs> Even without having a kid. 
Life hack: Organizing your outside environment can help organize the inside environment. When feeling depressed, do some cleaning. There's a big difference between depressed and sad. Depressed is like a self-perpetrating uh, sadness, where you make yourself sad, or maybe you're well, I suppose your environment and the outside can make you a little sad too. But I feel like depressed is overused. There, there is a difference. <laughs> okay, when feeling depressed, do some cleaning. Studies show that straightening out physical aspects of your life can also bring clarity to mental ones. Yes, your environment affects your mood, obviously, so <clears throat> that's not bad. But if you're actually feeling depressed, you will probably not feel like doing it. Uh, but you, you might just do it because a cleaning, although it's pretty boring, it is very easy and you might just get some, you know, I actually, I did it uh, feeling after that. So some, some, some pride from it and ultimately it needs doing, it needs doing and in my experience, uh, the longer you put it off, the the longer it actually takes. Well, obviously, like, you need more to do, but, like, it's also a little bit trickier to do, so, like, the time it actually takes to do the tasks uh, goes up as well, so, you know. I'm ADD and bipolar. I invest in a house uh, keeper organizer that comes twice a week to clean. Organize my house and do my grocery shopping. I'm 500% happier and more productive since I hired uh, her two years ago. Uh, there are much a fewer distractions and bottlenecks in my life, and overall, I think it makes uh, me money. Yeah, that's smart. Like, uh, making money is not just about not spending money, but, you know, like earning money and uh, spending money in a smart way. So, yeah, that, that's a good point. And ultimately, if you if your time is more valuable than a cleaner's, like even if even if it's the the same value or less valuable than a cleaner's, then it still makes sense if you just fucking hate it. You know, if you just fucking hate cleaning, it, it's not 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 the word. I don't I don't I don't like cleaning, but I might just listen to some audiobooks while I'm doing it, so it's not a complete loss. Uh, you can just uh, distract your mind while doing something mundane and boring. So, but I'm actually, yeah, I would be open to something like that. If I made more money, I guess I would be open to it. Or maybe like, you know, I could look into it, whatever. Uh, wrapping ideas for this year? No! I'm a man, I can't, I can't wrap gifts. Oh, man. Well, this is a bit late. Bit late, bit late. But not, let's, let's not look at it. When traveling, I pack loose bobby pins in an old Tic Tac box. Not only it is easy to dispense them this way, but I hardly ever lose them like I used to, and they don't end up scattering all over the bottom of my bag. Alright. Well, I guess? I mean, this is a sensible, like, you just put your shit together that they you don't lose them. I mean, it makes sense. Like, it is a pretty uh, uh, good unintended container for the 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 bobby pins I, I i i definitely say that so yeah it's smart it's smart i don't use bobby pins myself like obviously i don't need to my dad was showing me how to clean a paint roller um uh, okay i mean you probably gotta learn this if you ever just Google uh, painting anything. You might not have all the tools, like obviously, but the like the kind of the paint, uh, <laughs> uh, whatever. Like I'm not sure how to call it. This is just a knife that you just use to get rid of the paint. Paint getting rid of knife. Okay, let's call that. Whatever. Wrap your Christmas lights up on a cardboard. More <laughs> no more untangling cables next year. What is this shit? I need I need better life pro tips than this crap. Oh my god. No, I don't I don't care. Pro tips, set your mirrors like this so you can see me before <laughs> coming into my fucking lane. Holy shit. Is this really a pro tip? 
Uh, seems more like a... <laughs> Why is this upvoted so many times? I'm gonna just say fuck off on the drivers. <clears throat> I got tired of small medicine pill organizers, so I converted a cheap uh, fishing tackle box into a mega pill box. The problem with this, although I, I kind of like the idea of it, the, but the problem is that uh, you shouldn't expose uh, certain medicines. I can't fucking tell. Like, these seem to be okay to be exposed. I don't fucking know. I don't know. But I think it's like they're usually in a box uh, for a fucking reason. And they're usually also individually packaged as well. Not all of them. Some of them are just like a you know, box. But they are, they are all, all tend to be somewhat hidden in a box. So I, I, I think maybe uh, I'm right. I'm not too sure. But a lot of medicines are very susceptible to any length of exposure to light or moisture. Yeah, moisture, light... I don't really fucking know. Ultimately, you just don't know what's in the medicine. But I, I just played safe by, you know, just like keep it in the Orjo thing. Thankfully, I have good health, so I, I, I don't take any medicine right now. But uh, when I when I do, I just I, I'm pretty careful with my medicine. So, you know, the last thing you fucking want is your medicine unintentionally making you sick. Need to upset an anti-vaxxer. Uh, donate vaccines in their name for Christmas. Hey everyone, so you know organizations like UNICEF and whatnot that allow you to buy uh, kind of gifts where you donate mosquito nets or something in a person's name? Well, a lot of those organizations will let you donate vaccines, as it turns out, right, right now on UNICEF's site, providing 100 uh, polio vaccines to kids in need is uh, 19 USD. And I'm not saying you should buy it and then send a card to an anti-vax relative saying you provided life-saving vaccinations in their name. But actually, that's exactly what I'm saying. I fucking love you. This is this is a master plan. How we can step it up to the next level. First of all, I don't know. I don't know if I'm quite ready for. I, I don't I don't have really crazies in my family who are like, oh, anti-vax is good. No. No. So that that's out of the picture. Even if I did, I probably wouldn't want the fucking drama. So that's that's not a, not not the best. But what you can do, and that's what everyone can do, is that every time, if, if you wanna just support this uh, rightful cause, you can just buy the vaccines and provide a fake address that's actually a confirmed anti-vaxer. And what would be even smarter is that instead of uh, just sending it to that anti-vaxer, because that you just send it to the anti-vaxer and they're just gonna be like. Ah, uh, yeah, this wasn't me. Haha, <laughs> prank, prank. Yeah, but that's not what I'm suggesting. What I'm suggesting is that you send it to that anti-vaxxer's friend or whatnot. And then, then the drama can begin. Anti-vaxxer's fighting. One of them is going to be a pretender. Pretending to be an anti-vaxxer. But the other one knows that she is secretly buying uh, polio vaccines by the hundreds to kids in need and mistakenly gave the wrong address just just the fights i would like to see it in the news fucking uh incognito anti-vaxxers actually helping out people <laughs> i want to see like an anti-vaxxer uh war just <laughs> fake anti-vaxxers no actually all real anti-vaxxers but they're fighting over Who's uh, actually an anti-vaxxer? They're all of them anti-vaxxers, but like, you you just plant the doubt. Plant fake fake evidence on them. I'm just going to way too far into this joke. <laughs> I have a $20 gift exchange. Yeah, whatever. Cra crazy anti-vax family. What we got here? Forgot my camera and tripod at home, but still had to uh, get some family pics. I would like to hear some good plans. How to... How to Take it to the very next level. Because my plan was just like... Just like, maybe like plus one. But we need something that's like worldwide. Just that that's something that massively pisses off anti-vexers. I uh, forgot my camera and tripod at home. But still had to get some family pics. What the fuck is this? Is this just a stick? It kind of looks like maybe a horn. I don't know. Uh, okay. Where's the selfish stick when you need one? Tripod. 
I don't know. Can you just not take a fucking picture? It seems like every time... Everyone who... every I, I guess this is a nice location. But this is not about taking a uh, picture of the location. This is about taking a picture of everybody. Because obviously if you have like two people... Or, or even, even if you have like two people, you can just like, you know, just reach out with your fucking arm. I have a pretty long arm. And there you have it. You got two people. You don't have to be like a... It doesn't have to be like a full body shot. Oh, man. It seems like people are just taking pictures of everything. Where the fuck they going? And I guess I shouldn't judge. I shouldn't judge. I don't really do it myself, but I don't, just don't get it too much. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, very resourceful mates. Obviously, you have to take a picture. There was just no way around it. <laughs> what if it tumbles over and falls into the sand? And like the... The sea washes it over or... Whatever. Maybe it's a lake. Can't tell. It, it seems more like a lake because we see... Uh, mountains in the... In the distance. Whatever. Okay, last one. Definitely last one. <clears throat> Before you scrap an old dryer, drop... Uh, pop off the tumblers and open the side panels with a screwdriver. What the fuck? No fucking way! Okay. Wait, what? I think this is just, just about you. I I can't say I've ever uh, tried to uh, try to uh, dry out a, a bag I, I got from uh, the bank that I just robbed. The fuck is this? <laughs> this is so much crap. Yeah, I, I guess, but like, how about just not leave the money in? <laughs> That's not how money laundering works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good joke. God damn it. Man, what the hell? Wouldn't you have your money in? Your wallet? Instead of just like randomly in your pocket? Whatever, man. Uh, I think this is a very personal pro tip for you. Uh, this wouldn't be a pro tip for me. I I'm pretty careful to uh, just uh, leave stuff out. <laughs> but good job, I guess. Now I guess you are like, what is that? It's hard to tell. He, he does have a lot of money there. He's a rich man now, okay? He can buy another dryer. <laughs> the dryer actually paid for itself. In a way. Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.